great town. Uh, continues to be a great town. I'm here to support uh, and recognize what's, what's already happening here, and I think what will continue to happen. In the last uh, month or two, we were able to get uh, another $250,000 in a COPS grant to help support uh, the city of Warren and continuing to play offense uh, with uh, safety here in the city. Um, but also, you know, I want Steve to know and the ATF and all of the federal agencies that we're going to continue to support their work uh, uh, here in Warren, in Trumbull County, and in Northern Ohio. Uh, they've done a tremendous job. I think it's important for the citizens of Warren to know that this is a coordinated uh, effort with the city, uh, the police forces, the mayor's office, the state, and all these federal agencies that has been going on and has had a good deal of success over the past few years and that we are going to continue to push and support this kind of coordinated effort. If you look at cities who are able to address these issues, they have a coordinated effort at all levels of government. And we want to make sure that the uh, citizens of Warren know that we have a united front, a coordinated effort uh, to continue to uh, push back. And uh, uh, we've got a lot of work to do with economic development. And One thing I also just want to say is that the most important ingredient uh, has been and will continue to be on this is the involvement of the community. This is a community of great people. They uh, work hard, they play by the rules, the vast majority of them are living great lives here in Warren, uh, and we need their help to get involved and tell law enforcement uh, when something's wrong. Uh, we said it before, and the chief uh, has said it, the mayor has said it, uh, if you see something, say something. Uh, it's always easier not to get involved, uh, and I understand people have a lot of pressing things in their lives that are demanding their attention every day, but for the good of the community, uh, it really is, is important that the, the vast, vast majority of people out there get involved and tell us what's going on. Communication between uh, our public information officers, the command staff, and the school system. Unfortunately, that uh, some of the, from my understanding, those uh, those calls took place uh, late in the days. So there was just no time or space for the monumental decision, with very little time to make alternate preparations. But there was a lot of uh, we always communicate.